What was your first concert? Um, my first concert ever. Wow. More than like uh, 1,500 people. Um, probably was like like a Janet Jackson black cat tour. My dad was doing security and I was like, he was like, Janet, I said, Janet Jackson, let me go ahead and check it out. I said, I, I remember I told you, I, it's, it's a gumbo of things, but that was probably one of the ones to the point where I was like, I think I was more or less in love than even listening to music at that time. I was like, man, it's Janet Jackson. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Janet Jackson, no. First year? Most concert. Solomon Burke. Wow. Oh. Actually, I was in a band at the time, and we had to open up for him. Okay. And uh, he told me, he gave me some good advice. Okay. He said, um, first of all, like, Solomon Burke was, I was like maybe 13, 14 years old. Solomon Burke at that time was like, he was the king. He was bigger than James. He was bigger than just about everybody out there. So I expect when I saw Solomon Burke, man, I was going to see a guy driving up in this, because all of them had Cadillacs. Mm -hmm. I figured, like, he's going to be driving up in this big, shiny Cadillac. When I saw Solomon Burke, man, he was driving up in a, a station wagon. But it was a nice station wagon. <laughs> it was a nice station wagon. And uh, he was coming from Philadelphia. And he, and, um, we was, we, I was, he drove up in the club yard. He said, son, come here, let me talk to you. So I get in the car. And he told me, he said, uh, you probably expect me to come up in the Cadillac, didn't you? <laughs> I, said, I said, yes, sir. He said, well, listen, let me tell you something. You get in this business, I want you to remember one thing. You ever get in the money in your hand, hold your money. Don't be crazy with your money. Hold wow. your money. And he said, oh, this station wagon here belonged to a funeral home that my wife and I own in Philadelphia. He said, if you ever get in, in this business and make some money, be careful with your money and be wise with your money. Don't be like a lot of these singers, is what he told me. Wow, smart. And um, at that time, it was unheard of in a many places, man, where, you know, uh, a singer like that man was, would, would end up with, he, he had money wow, <laughs> at that time. He can come to show, kill you, and take you back yeah. and bury you. And that stuck with me, that stuck with me all of those years. When I, when I travel, when I travel, man, the only thing I'm thinking about after the, sh I mean, uh, uh, other than the show, it's, it's being wise out there on the road. Don't get crazy. Mm -hmm. So that I've seen a lot of them get crazy. And it's so easy to get crazy out there. My first show was the OJs. OJs? Yeah, they had an orchestra, the Oakland yeah. Coliseum. It was my first show. My sister took me to it. My sister Sheila took me to a show, and it was the Blown OJs away. with the orchestra. I mean, yeah. I was blown away by. That's where the Golden State Warriors play now, in that same yeah. exact uh, Coliseum. Um, but I was I was standing by the concession stands and watched the cars drive in. So watching all the brake lights, yeah. people in traffic trying to get into this show, and I was just thinking, all these people coming to watch these guys sing the OJs. Yeah. And that, to me, was just like really amazing. So sometimes when I do shows, I, I stand outside that. and watch cars coming. <laughs> <laughs>